If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. If you're a new viewer, you gotta know I recommend good games for busy people. Now, what am I, to hang this? Do, no, to, on top of this thing? I, I, I don't know, man. So unpacking boasts a name that is just, just right on the nose. It's right there. You're gonna follow the life of a person from unpacking their childhood home to finding the right spot for their partner's toothbrush in their first house together. You'll open boxes, figure out what's in them, and then decide where they do and where they don't fit. Or if you're me, you'll unpack everything, put it on the ground, and then decide how you can fit everything strategically inside of a cupboard so that the door still closes. This game strikes a lot of my good game for busy people criteria. It's got the relaxation. It's got the low stakes, rewarding, satisfying gameplay experience. It's got the soft-spoken visual narrative, and it's got the one-handedness that I love so very, very much. Now, I'll unbox all these principles one by one, and by the end of the video, we will have unpacked why unpacking is the next game for your busy person collection. Picture this. Close your eyes if you want. You're a busy little bee. Zipping around from work to the grocery store to daycare to school to home and then back to work again. Just kidding, you don't need to picture it. You don't have to have your eyes closed because if you clicked on this video, you're probably my target audience. When picking out your next video juego to pull up on your screen, you might not be looking for something that pounds pulses, induces sweats, or makes you run for your blood pressure medication. Instead, you might reach for something with a little more of a laid back experience. And the entire atmosphere of unpacking supports that idea, that philosophy. It's a game that grabs what some people might find mundane or even stressful and converts it into a meditative experience that explores the life of a woman through what she brings to her various places of residence. You'll go room by room, deliberately deliberately unpacking boxes and deciding where to place the many household goods that this individual travels with throughout her life. There's no gremlins in the house, no time crunch, just you and a lifetime of sentimental toys and clothes that surely are too small or got ratty a long time ago. The result is a gameplay atmosphere that's as much about enjoying the act of unboxing as it is about finding the perfect spot for each item. Remember moving? A new house? A dorm room? The first apartment? Or even a new home? It's exciting, isn't it? The opportunities are endless for perfect organization and an optimized daily ritual. Or so you think before the sweating kicks in, you pinch your fingers, and the countless trips out to the truck before your friend starts incessantly yelling, PIVOT! Cause haha, <laughs> nobody's ever heard that one before, Jerry. Cut out all the chaff. Rid yourself of the difficulties of physically moving things and make it a simple mouse click. Suddenly, the underlying satisfaction of moving becomes obvious. In unpacking, you'll organize bathrooms, dining rooms, bedrooms, and studio apartments that are all of those in one contained room. You'll find the perfect position for bowls, nicely nested and nestled into the corner of a shelf. The exact rotation to fit all the shampoos onto the minuscule shelf in the shower. The optimal display arrangement for the plethora of probably D&D &D books and miniatures. Finishing, unboxing, and unpacking a room and having it all make sense is a profoundly satisfying experience that will have you saying, Nice. And enjoying your work before moving on to the next room to do it all again. It's not ripping sick trick shots or outsmarting opponents in chess, but it requires no practice, no lengthy time commitments, just you and a room. A puzzle with limitless solutions that still feels satisfying to solve. A puzzly game about moving doesn't in itself invoke a lot of thoughts about narrative, right? I thought the same thing, and how wrong I was. Unpacking doesn't feature cutscenes or dialogue, there are no hidden items to interact with to get paragraphs of text or branching storylines. Instead, every item you unpack and every location you unpack in carries its own weight. When unpacking your dorm room, you'll find items from the childhood room. A mug that now has a crack, a stuffed animal now tarnished and patched. Look at the negative space as well. Why was the soccer ball left behind? Whatever happened to that sewing machine? The description from the unpacking website tells it better than I think I can. You'll experience a sense of intimacy with a character you never see and a story you're never told. Piecing together the details of the character and the story of her life is thought provoking and a shockingly vulnerable experience that left me reflecting on past moves in my life as well as potential moves in the future. What have I forgotten about? What will I leave behind? Unpacking opens the door to a shared endeavor that most of us have experienced and lets us see the evolution of sentimentality throughout time. The meditative and satisfying gameplay is what kept me moving and unboxing and unpacking. It's a game that somehow manages to make fun an aspect of our life that normally fills us with uncertainty and anxiety. It allows you to just unwind and organize a single box, a single room, or a whole house depending on how much time you have on your hands. I enjoyed it all the way through and often found myself in the mornings when I had nothing better to do but sit, drink, and immerse myself in the intimate details of this fictional stranger. Hello everyone, this is Ian from the future. I can't help but notice I just said sit and drink. I meant to say sit and drink coffee. 
Unpacking is an excellent game with lovely graphics, excellent sound design, a premium atmosphere, a satisfying gameplay loop, and a truly original style of storytelling. If you're looking for a relaxing, immersive game that tells a story, Unpacking is perfect. For these reasons and more, I'm giving Unpacking five vaguely Wind Waker game boxes out of five vaguely Wind Waker game boxes. Highly recommended.